Uh, let's uh, come back and go on to uh, we'll move to this topic: uh, how to uh, manage the performance in a worldwide operation in a multinational company. Okay, there are three approach or three strategy. First is uh, is positive strategy. The second is adaptive strategy, and the third integrative strategy. Okay, yeah, for this uh, exportive strategy, which develop the uh, PN system in the home country, right, and transfer it to the foreign unit. Yeah, if uh, your your uh, globalization strategy just uh, for the region within the regional area, maybe it's work, right? Because within this the a regional area, most of the country have the same uh, or similar culture. Okay, so this uh, is positive uh, strategy, and then the adaptive strategy, which develop unique PN and practice it in each foreign unit. Uh, uh, if uh, your home country, right, your home country is a small country, like Taiwan. Okay. Small country, right? A small country, or like the some country in uh, uh, North uh, Europe, right? Maybe you will use this uh, adaptive strategy. Develop unique PM and practice in each foreign unit. Okay. And the third, uh, the integrative strategy, uh, which combine local PM practice with those within the region and around the world. Okay, so this uh, uh, PM uh, will reside at the focal point of the global local dilemma because it will plan the exactly and upstream company strategy at the downstream local individual level. Okay, yeah, so as for this uh, integrative strategy, okay, it can uh, reconcile, uh, reconcile uh, between these uh, two uh, extremes. Local uh, versus global. So first, in this, uh, with this uh, integrative strategy, you need to uh, have the upper stream, upstream uh, consideration, upstream consideration. This in the overall organization, right? Overall organization, you should have this uh, strategy integration and the coordination. Yeah, you should come. Uh, this is a church integration. It means that if you want to uh, execute the overall strategy, right? Overall strategy of the, your company in the worldwide operation, yeah, all the PN system in uh, each unit, each country, sure, uh, uh, sure, adopt. Uh, the company's uh, strategy and to cooperate to support the company's strategy. So this uh, strategy integration and coordination. So, yeah, in this situation, all the CEO, no matter, right, no matter where you uh, uh, transfer uh, to, uh, from USA to you know, to uh, China. Okay, all this. Uh, 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 subsidiary CEO level, uh, they should uh, have the, the same uh, goal, right? And also, uh, like IBM, this company is an entrepreneurial company, right? So all, all the foreign subsidiaries, right? The, their PN system should uh, be consistent, right? Uh, with this company's uh, uh, organic culture, mission, and goal, okay? And the workforce alignment, okay? And how to uh, uh, link uh, the foreign subsidiaries, the uh, manager, right? To this uh, 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 company's the goal. And the organizational learning and knowledge management. So in this situation, uh, the company need to learn from the Different market, okay? Different market. So how to let all 
that all the uh, foreign uh, workforces right, can uh, respond to uh, your company's uh, system. Uh, for example, when the customer uh, require require a different service, right? Can you uh, PN system assess right their performance? Uh, this log for of the local employee, for example, the IBN, right? IBN ask all their employee, no matter in the home country or in the foreign country. Yeah, all the employees should have fifty. Sorry, 15% of their performance uh, credit come from his warm idea. His warm idea. So I've been asked uh, all the individual employees should know what the custom, local customer need and try to uh, meet their need. Okay? And you should review whether you uh, really uh, meet the local. Uh, customers need, and then you give yourself the credit right, of your performance. So, 15% 15, 15 of the evaluation come from yourself. Okay, got it? This kind of organizational learning, learning, learning. So, finally, maybe the, if this customer is the a big customer, okay, VIP customer. Then finally, maybe ah, you can uh, develop a new business, a new business. Okay. And the knowledge management, knowledge management. What do you mean? No matter where you are, uh, where you are, uh, uh, what location of your subsidiary, okay, you need to uh, share your knowledge to order, right? All the unit, uh, all the unit in the world. Okay, encourage, encourage the knowledge sharing among the, the different subsidiaries. So in this situation, yeah, you should encourage them uh, by means of the performance, performance assessment. Yeah, we really share the knowledge to others. Yeah, you got the better performance, right? Also, you should have a downstream consideration, include responsive to local conditions, and sensitivity to cross-cultural differences, establishing a PN relationship and a comprehensive training. Uh -huh. So, IBM uh, not only ask every individual employee to have his warm uh, performance goal, also he will ask his direct manager, the direct manager, help the employee to complete, right? To complete his goal, the commission goal. So if uh, this uh, employee didn't get a good performance uh, evaluation, HR people in Taiwan, uh, in Taiwan, HR people will check this situation. Whether this manager has some interview with you right, concerning your performance. Right, really, he uh, help you right, to uh, attend the goal or not. In the United States, it's not necessary right, because all the, all the, the ev ev evaluation need to have this interview. Right, right? Manager and employee know this, so they will really have a, a real inter interview. However, in Taiwan, in China, uh, that as I said, the cultural differences. So, uh, if uh, the manager has some interview with you, maybe you can you don't uh, answer any to him. You don't didn't uh, uh, have any reactions, and so the manager said, "Oh, yeah." Yeah, I, we cannot get any uh, solution. So HR people need to check whether you have very good interview. Uh, if you don't have, they will ask the manager. <laughs> you, you really need to help this employee. 
you know this is the cultural differences cultural differences okay so yeah even the comprehensive training yeah so for many uh, China, Chinese uh, manager they need have this uh, uh, communication training right which they are Employee. Okay, so there are three phases, right? Uh, first uh, is the design, and then implementation, and a lot the uh, evaluation. Uh, let's check this uh, this, this uh, map. Okay, uh, first, first, all in the whole uh, company. Yeah, they need to when they want to design this. Uh, uh, PN system. Okay, they need to uh, uh, answer this uh, six question. Okay, yeah. The why? What's the purpose? Right? And uh, what criteria will be used? And uh, how? Uh, how to assess? Uh, what's the, the instrument? Right? The written document or anything? Right? And the frequency? How often? Okay? How often? Every year, twice. Every year, four times. Or, or just one time, okay? Or every week, yeah. A choice or evaluator. Uh, who assess? Who assess? Direct boss, or a colleague, or a customer, or a sale, and standardization, uh, the localization. Okay, so this uh, design phase, uh, when you uh, uh, want to design your PN system? Okay, you need to consider, uh, consider this, and this uh, uh, are related to the organizational context. Organizational context, it will be related to the corporate culture, strategy, and origin design, right? It related to this. When you want to uh, answer this question, yeah, you need to consider uh, to link uh, with your. Uh, Organizational contact, okay. And however, when you want to implement, right, implement it, then you need to uh, consider the global context, uh, cultural differences, cultural difference. So, how to let it work? This PN system work, right? When you want to uh, conduct this uh, PN uh, performance assessment, yeah. Uh, Maybe some uh, training, uh, and some uh, motivation, and some self-advocacy. Uh, it's uh, different uh, between different countries, right? Uh, because of the cultural differences. So you need to consider this, okay? And uh, last, you need to check the outcome. Outcome. Uh, you need to evaluate whether this system work or not. Okay. Uh, overall. In any way, there are some guidelines for the uh, international PM system, right? First, uh, you need to consider this reverence, reverence, and then the acceptability and sensitivity and practical testing. Yeah, concern is uh, reverence. The criteria and process for evaluation are relevant to the content and requirement of the job in different locations of the MME. What do mean? Leverage. Many money companies set up the manufacturing site, right? Manufacturing factory in China, right? So, the PN system in China subsidiary ah, are mostly uh, related to the manufacturing activity, right? So, it's totally different. Totally different from the a PN system which are oriented to the marketing need, right? So in China, if uh, this subsidiary is for manufacturing, right? For manufacturing activity, yeah, the European system will stress efficiency, right? Stress good quality, stress cost down, right? Yeah, this the different uh, different criteria will be used, okay? Sorry. Uh huh. However, uh, maybe 
you set up a marketing international marketing center in Singapore, <laughs> right? And many uh, marketing uh, manager and uh, salesperson right, was recruit and work in Singapore to conduct this uh, international marketing activity. So, what's the PN system should be designed for the Singaporean uh, subsidiary? And marketing, right? So for the marketing uh, activity, your criteria is different. It's a concern in the customer service, right? Customer service. Uh, what's your response to customer need, right? And concern the effectiveness. Effectiveness. It means that uh, not only uh, can make profit, but also can uh, serve the customer need and attain the company's goal, right? For example, if this company want to sell more new product, okay, new product, and then it will encourage the, the, all the marketing manager or marketing salesperson try to learn the new information for the new product, got it? And always you need to uh, I try to contact the new customer, right? Or try to change uh, their uh, consuming behavior of the customer for the new product. Got it? So it's totally different. Totally different. Uh, and sensitivity. Yeah, this is uh, concerning uh, this uh, culture, right? You consider the culture, international business reality, okay? Yeah, I. I had I had a uh, mention to you. Okay, I don't want to uh, repeat again. And then acceptability, uh, failure, failure. This uh, uh, criteria can be controlled by the employee himself, right? You check, you you assess uh, my uh, quality management, but this is not my job. So you cannot use this criteria. Like to assess my performers, you know. So, and you know, sometimes uh, in a country like uh, uh, China, right, many uh, policy uh, uh, <laughs> I make my government okay. So, if the government always change. Uh, their uh, economy policy. Wow! In this situation, you need to eat the manager, the CEO, right? The subsidiary in China. Yeah, they should know how to respond. Okay. You know, many uh, modern company cannot make profit in China within uh, this uh, uh, four year since uh, 2008. 2008 to 2030, you know, because many modern companies set up the manufacturing uh, site in China for exportation. Right? Exportation. So within these five years, the world economy, right, suffer, right, uh, this uh, crisis, okay. crisis. So. The situation that I think the the manufacturing activity cannot right, had a very good performance. And at the same time, within this uh, five year, China had changed their economic policy from the manufacturing oriented to <laughs> to what to service to high tech, right? And uh, many. Uh, Many workers they won't stay in the province, uh, province uh, uh, line, the pro no, no, in the coastline, the province. Uh, no, they don't want to stay there because China government encourage them to stay in their hometown. In hometown, because China want to uh, increase the interior cons consumption, right? Consumption. So uh, most uh, most uh, city. Will be expand, will be expand, right? To become the big city. 
So more and more uh, uh, farmers will be encouraged to move right, to the urban area. Yeah? So it's easier for many workers to find a job right, near their hometown. They don't need, they don't need to uh, move, they don't need to travel to the coastline province to find a job. Right? So in this situation, many modern companies uh, cannot find uh, enough uh, work, worker to work for them. So they need to uh, invest, invest uh, for their automation, automation of their manufacturing activity. Yeah. So something not in their control, right? When you accept the, so when you use this uh, criteria, right, to uh, to uh, review the output of their manufacturing. The, the output in terms of the quantity, not fair, right? Right? Enough? It's not fair. Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> the, out, the outcome is not uh, in their control. Okay. And the pra uh, practicality, the performance evaluation stand need to be easy to use. Okay. Easy to use. Yeah. You know, uh, when you design a very complicated form, you no, know, the manager don't know how to use this uh, this uh, evaluation form. Okay, so it must be uh, practical. Now let's come to the last uh, issue, last topic, very important. PM of international Azani. I will lecture for you concerning this issue. Because I want <laughs> leave it for your discussion. However, before you discuss the the question, uh, let me give you some story. Okay. I have some. Okay. If you are assigned to work in China by MCS, what should you do to help headquarters to assess objectives you your performance? <laughs> Let me give you some story to illustrate the case. Uh, within the last three years, some Taiwanese company they, uh, recruit many MBA students and transfer them to China to work there. Uh, when they uh, uh, stay, uh, however, the result is uh, within three months, many, uh, many uh, new hire they came back. They don't want to stay there. You know what happened? Because uh, all this uh, MBA uh, graduate when they are uh, assigned to work there they cannot get a good support from their direct manager no many uh, manager are uh, China manager China local manager, not Taiwanese manager so you can think about it. what happened what happened there must be some culture differences, right? Culture differences. Yeah. So this town is MBA. Uh, they cannot have very good communication with their direct boss, the China, China manager. Yeah, they don't know. So this, the China manager will say, oh, you are not a, very, you are not a good employee. Yeah. Totally different mindset between them. Yeah. So almost ninety percent fail. <laughs> ninety percent of this uh, MBA fail. Fail. Wow, it's not good, right? Think about it. What happened? And also, uh, I give you another story. 
One very famous uh, computer company uh, in Taiwan. Uh, uh, Twenty years ago, this company is the number one in Taiwan. Not Acer, not Asus. The number one notebook computer in Taiwan, number one. Twenty years ago, and in nineteen uh, in nineteen uh, ninety six, this company. Uh, start to enter European market and set up four unit, four uh, marketing unit in European country. One in uh, UK, one in France, one in Germany, one in Holland. Okay, now the the story come to this uh, French French uh, head. Um, they assign one Taiwanese. Uh, manager, who are senior manager in this company, even the founder of this company, I would like to say, uh, very uh, very senior, and he uh, his his uh, major is the French language in university, right? So it's good, right? It's uh, uh, a good will be a a good potential manager to work there. However. Uh, within five years, the first five years, this company suffered a big loss in France. However, in Germany, in UK, in Holland, very good business there. So what happened to this French head, to this uh, a, a French subject head? Uh, we call the, I think the culture different first. Culture difference because uh, many Taiwanese uh, high tech company uh, manager, they are engineer mindset, engineer mindset. So everything must be very efficient. Okay. So this manager always ask French employee what work in efficiency. Okay. However, many uh, friends. Uh, friends are supporting they they can accept this uh, leadership the first and then when this company went to uh, to marketing in France the French government asked unless you unless you have three years uh, tax uh, tax uh, paying record you cannot do business with stay one company stay one company in France Think about this, all the notebook in France, many companies are stay one company. So if you cannot sell your product to the, this stay one company, you cannot have very good business, right? You cannot have a good performance. Okay. And also, uh, this uh, issue, there is an issue concerning the legal, uh, this is the legal issue. If you want to fire an employee uh, who you think are not uh, qualified, you should prepare some record document, uh, written document, uh, concerning uh, this employee's performance, or you will uh, uh, get penalty, yeah, you get fine. And one day uh, he asked uh, a local manager leave the company, and this. And this company, this uh, local manager, uh, go to the the, sh the court, right? So, <laughs> so this com at last, uh, this uh, this company uh, pay uh, how much? Uh, I think pay uh, ten uh, uh, ten million ten million NT dollar to this local manager. Right, because uh, his uh, behavior is illegal. When he uh, ask this uh, many local manager to leave the company, and cannot provide fast the performance uh, record uh, to the judge. Okay, so there are many many uh, situations, and the CEO in Taiwan always ask why you cannot make profit. However, he didn't uh, come, 
had any direct communication with this uh, French subsidiary CEO. No, he Taiwanese, you no, know, the headquarters CEO just say, hmm, many subsidi- other subsidiary they really can make profit, right? How can how you cannot? And didn't uh, know the real situation happened in France. No, no, no. Okay. So after five years, uh, he uh, returned to Taiwan and leave the company. Uh, he don't want to stay anymore. Okay, I give you this uh, story for you to consider. Now, if you are assigned to work in China, haha, what should you do? What should you do? Huh? What should you do? Think about it, okay? So please enter your group to have a discussion. And I will give you uh, 20 minutes. And please come back uh, 11.20, okay? 11.20, please come back. Yep.